Welcome. If you haven't already, go watch episode one, which is about setting your climbing lines, and episode two, which is about rope ascension techniques. This tutorial is fast, so pay attention. Let's do this. Building an anchor for your portal ledge or hammock is super easy. The most important thing when building camp in the tree is to have a high tie-in point. If you have a low tie-in point and you climb out horizontally onto a branch and you fall off the branch, you do a huge pendulum and slam into the tree. If, however, you build your tie-in point way above your campsite and you traverse out onto a branch and you fall, you don't build as much downward momentum and you're basically just swinging back into the tree gently. If I'm using my two-person portal edge, I usually bring a separate piece of climbing spec webbing and I tie an overhand on one end. This is called a water knot when you're using webbing. Then wrap your webbing around the main shaft of the tree. You don't want to be hanging all night off of a branch. Pass the tail end through the loop that you've made and girth hitch it to the tree. Tie a second water knot on the tail end Then clip your portal edge into that loop and you have a bomb proof anchor. When I'm going on super light trips and I have all of my lines set in the tree, I usually just repurpose my lanyard instead of bringing an extra piece of webbing, toss it over the branch, girth hitch it, tie a figure eight on a bite, and now you have a bomb proof anchor. When I'm going on really big trips with friends and I have a lot of gear, I like building one anchor off of the main shaft for my portal edge and a second anchor off of a nearby branch for hanging my gear and sorting everything. Climbing ropes while carrying all of your camping gear on your back sucks. The better option is to, when you're on the ground, tie your backpack to the tail end of your climbing rope ascend your rope, and then when you're up in the tree, haul it up using a haul system. My favorite option is to just simply use a rope man as a progress capture. Another option is to set up your gree gree in haul mode. If you have to haul really heavy loads up into the canopy, you can build a Z-Rig. Now there's tons of ways that you can build a Z-Rig and there's tons of different gear options that you can use to build one. But what I usually use is a Prusik loop with a rope man as the progress capture and a bunch of carabiners. This essentially gives you a three to one pull ratio so that you can haul up really heavy loads without much effort. I don't make any money from these videos. So if you wanna say thank you, do something awesome for our earth, whether it's not using chemicals on your lawn, uh, buying organic food, choosing paper instead of plastic, anything helps. We're all in this together. Let's keep the planet the way it is so that we can continue to enjoy it for years to come. I hope you guys have fun. Goodbye and be safe. You've essentially made a noose that cinches around the branch. And now you can climb the tail end because the head end is anchored. To take it down, just pull on your throw line that you left attached to the head end. There are many types of rope ascension systems, but I prefer the rad setup. A cheaper alternative to the hand ascender. When you can't ascend any further because you've reached your tie-in point, it's time to pull out your lanyard. A traditional lanyard allows you to quickly attach yourself to the tree